This program was really important to Boston University School of Medicine and Boston Medical Center and our patients because it helped us to increase the screening rate for our patients with diabetes, um, screening that is for diabetic retinopathy. So we work with a lot of patients who face barriers with things like transportation, um, language differences, education, et cetera. And so a program like this that provides some additional support in getting to those screening appointments is really helpful for our patient population. We had a, a great champion in um, internal medicine and also in ophthalmology of uh, physician champions. And in addition to that, we had an operations manager in ophthalmology who was really dedicated to this project and, and helped to move it all forward. So we had a perfect storm of um, faculty and additional administrative staff who were very invested and, um, and came together to, to keep the, the momentum up for this project and, and to make it such a success. What was very satisfying and gratifying about it is that we could actually see changes in practice over time that the doctors were um, were referring more patients, I believe, to the ophthalmology department. And then we were able to bring more of those patients in for screening. If we receive a referral to the ophthalmology department for a diabetic retinopathy screening, that referral will go along with all the other referrals that the department receives to our incoming work queue and our general referral coordination team, whose job it is to reach out to patients and schedule an appointment. And at that point, I am calling those patients and not just scheduling an appointment, but also providing some education about why they need to come in for this appointment and why it is so important to have an annual eye screening with diabetes, how diabetes can affect vision and eye health. There was someone who actually could spend the time calling the patients and talking to them about the importance of the screening for diabetic retinopathy. And I think as our patient navigator will speak to, we found, or Lucy found, that the patients really needed that phone call to better understand why. I am able to increase understanding of why it's so important that patients come in for this annual exam. And ultimately, I hope that that means that in the future, patients who have been uh, educated as to why this exam is so important will continue to come in annually for that exam. I was often having to schedule patients for appointments that were maybe months in advance. Um, I might call a patient, for example, in September to schedule an appointment in January. Um, and that posed an issue at times with patients forgetting about their appointments um, since they were scheduled so far in advance. So I'd point to that as a, as a barrier as well. I think the one thing we do differently that came up is that many of the primary care clinicians during our grand round sessions mentioned the, um, that it would be great to have cameras in the primary care practice. And that's something we're exploring at this point. But I think having them, the cameras readily available to the patients at the point of care could, could make a difference. So the, the clinicians that I've worked with over the course of my time as part of this program have been very grateful that they know that there is someone there who might coordinate their um, patient's appointment, make sure that they understand why they're supposed to be coming into the eye clinic. I've even had a number of providers who have uh, learned about my role as a patient navigator in the ophthalmology clinic and reached out to me directly to work with their patients to schedule screening appointments, which makes that process run a little bit more smoothly, especially for patients who do have those barriers to scheduling. The response from the clinicians, I would say, uh, was to be very engaged in the education. And again, our key faculty members, uh, Jason Worcester from internal medicine and Tony Pira from ophthalmology, were so so involved and so motivated to to do this program so i think overall the engagement was very positive we've seen that a patient navigation role can be really effective in helping uh, patients with diabetes who often have many appointments in a month to get to 
uh, actually make it to their, their appointment at the eye clinic, which might be a new place for them, a new provider for them. So we've seen that this makes it easier for patients to come in and get that annual eye screening that can be so impactful ultimately in preserving the uh, preserving vision and preserving eye health.